What's going on guys, I'm the Pop Chaser and today we're going to do another volume of Chasing the Pops. So let's go. Now guys, if you are new to my channel, you like absolutely anything to do with Funko, whether it be mystery boxes, pop hauls, mail calls, or even pop reviews, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, make sure you hit that like button. Now, if you haven't seen an episode or a volume of Chasing the Pops, it's pretty much a episode of me, like with my mail calls or me going out and picking up pops that I want and I'll show you guys. So the last, uh, chasing the pops it was actually three weeks ago so I've spent three weeks collecting pops here and there I haven't really got anything like major or drastic but I've picked up a couple of little goodies off marketplace and gone to my local Brewer Deluxe and pick it up there and some some little mail calls as well so I'll show you so these first four pops you're probably gonna guess what the next pop after these four pops is gonna be so first we got Sigmund and the sea monsters now, I always thought that this was a little Funko creation, like one of their fantastic plastic ones, uh, things, but it's actually a pop television line. And looking at the back um, of this, I'm glad I never ever saw this show because that is freaky. It's like a squid mated with a bit of seaweed and just made a little baby with one very sharp tooth. And it's just, it just looks absolutely disgusting so the first one was sigmund and the sea monsters pretty sure this goes for five dollars at zing and the next one we got is gill so pop culture yeah no, that wasn't pop culture exclusive so the pop culture exclusive gill pretty sure this guy comes in a range of colors whether it be green like the orange i've got now pretty sure don't hold me to him i'm pretty sure he comes in purple as well but yeah so the second one was gil from funko yeah, the pop funko line all right the next one if you haven't guessed it already you know what's going to come up with soon is finn do jump the pop culture exclusive now the pop culture exclusive obviously is a funko exclusive so i don't know how they come up with these creations of these little things little things little pops but they've pretty much hit this one out of the park with arc they've absolutely made this one with great detail like they've even got a hook in the hat like that's pretty cool the hat, hat that says beach bum the surfboard's got a bit of a um shark bite out of it and then, yeah bit of an overbite <laughs> anyway so these are just little teasers for what's really going to come up in a second so the fourth pop was or is salty i actually don't mind salty you know it'll probably quickly it'll quickly take me out of the box and quickly because i don't mind him at all hey so quickly get him out of the box not too quick because you don't rip the box so this one is the 20 year anniversary of funko which is yeah, celebrating two decades, two decades of fun. But actually, I do not mind this at all. Give you guys a quick little 360 of it. I'm not going to throw a rotation device because these are just little appetizers for what's really going to come up in the main meal. I don't mind this pop at all. He'll probably stay in who pop. I don't know yet. But for now, we'll put him back in the box. He's probably not going to be an who pop. What have I done? What's going on here? There we go. Yeah, throw him back in the box. So if you haven't guessed it already, you know the next pop that's going to come. If you went to pop culture for the release of this pop, it either came as a single, single sold out so quick, or it came in a bundle. Unfortunately, I had to get the bundle to get this pop. Now I haven't opened, obviously it's the Kraken, but I haven't opened it. From when I got it, probably I think it was two weeks ago because I want to do a video on it and I want to like make it like a bit of a mystery box for you guys. So hopefully it's not damaged. I've seen heaps of people getting damaged Krakens, like the box is damaged or, you know, the screen scratched or which way does it go? Oh, it's like that. It's like a puzzle. Oh, go this way. Right, three, two, one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't mind the Kraken. 
That looks absolutely amazing. Let's have a little quick glance at it, see if it's got any damage. Oh yeah, you can see there the past plastic, plastic's bowed a bit. It doesn't really mind. I don't really mind to be honest with you. Now a little bit of a dent there. Can't say I'm not unhappy with this. This is an absolutely killer pop, no doubt. Now, people have bought this and flipped it. You know how I feel about flippers. That's it, that's all I'm gonna say to them. <laughs> but yeah, they flipped this for a lot of money. I just think that's wrong, but they've got that little horsey thing they call Pegasus. They could have done so much better with Pegasus. They could have made it flying, make it look powerful, but yeah, they've got it like laying down. Looking very submissive, so I don't really even like the Pegasus, which why, which is why I didn't pick it up. But yeah, we've got the Kraken here. So the Kraken was really the first pop that I picked up. I just had to get the other four pops to get the Kraken. So yeah, there was the Kraken there. Now the next pop I bought from a little pop vinyl group on Facebook comes from the WWE line and these two wrestlers me and my brother absolutely idolized them when we were younger watching wwe when we thought it was real they made it look real in their tlc matches with edge and christian the dudley boys and that is the hardy boys now i would love i mean i would love to get this signed by matt and jeff hardy i don't know what my chances of that happening unless someone in the u.s like knew the hardy boys personally and i'd send them over and you get a sign. But the main reason I got this is because Jeff Hardy doesn't have a single pop, I don't believe. So I'm an absolute fan of Jeff Hardy. I just I just wish that he didn't go off the rails. I mean, I understand that you have to do, well, they had to do like multiple shows a week and obviously the pain gets to you, but I just wish that he just kept on the straight and narrow. I just think that he could have been an absolute massive superstar. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's an absolute massive superstar but he could have been up there with the likes of like triple h or uh randy orton or i just think that if he stayed on the straight and narrow he'd be an absolute awesome um wrestler i mean he's an awesome wrestler that's not what i wanted to say that's just what came out of my mouth i do remember one incident i think it was at a tna main event in 2011. oh what was the main event i don't remember but he was versing sting and he came out and you can just see immediately that he was off his face on drugs and i that really when i saw that that just broke my heart because i know this guy struggles with like drug abuse but i just wish that he just kept on the straight and narrow to be honest with you but anyway i just cannot get enough of the hardy boys they're always going to be one of my favorite teams or favorite wrestlers in wwe but yeah, I'd love to get, don't get me wrong, I'd love to get the Rey Mysterio, the 7-Eleven exclusive Rey Mysterio. That'd be pretty cool, but I just settle with the Hardy Boys. It's an absolute amazing two-pack. When I found out that it was actually made, I had to get it like straight away. I've seen one person get it signed. I'm not too sure how, um, what's the word? How um, real that signature is, because there isn't a COA, but you never know, I could be right. I mean, it could be like good, but pff, I don't know. I'd love to get it like a signed, like I said, with a COA. It just make this pop like pop more. <laughs> All right, so we're on to the last pop of this Chasing the Pops episode. This pop comes from the Pop Marvel line, the Iron Man 3 line. I actually won this pop in a waffle for, I think it was, I think it was $15, it was quite a, quite a while back, but I think I got it for $15. And it is the Deep Space Suit from Iron Man 3. Now this pop isn't um, like minty fresh, there's a little blemish, or yeah, quite a big blemish, on it, should I say, on the side of the pop there. Not like, not game to try and fix it because I'll probably ruin it more. But for $15, you can't go wrong with an Iron Man 3 pop. I'm probably going to take it out of the, the soft stack it's in now and put it in a hard stack because this will grow up in value. Like all the Iron Man 3 pops are growing up in value more. And I do know that J-Rod is trying to get the whole set of the Iron Man 3. 
but I kid you not, that set goes for probably 1.4K, and that is a lot of money for a set of props. It really depends on how desperate and how obsessed you are with Iron Man. I mean, I know he's obsessed with Iron Man. Like, I'd love to help him out, but 1.4K for a set of Iron Man 3 pops. That's just ridiculous. So the third pop I got, well, not really the third. What was this? One, two, three, four, six. There's a seventh pop, but it's really the third pop that I wanted to show you guys is the deep space suit. So quickly go back to what I got. We won't go through the first four because they were just like little appetizers you don't really want to see. So the first thing I got, well, the third thing I got was the deep space suit from Iron Man 3. And then we went on to the Hardy Boys from WWE. Absolutely love this. If people out there know if there's a such thing as a two pack hard stack, make sure you let me know and I'll definitely pick one up. Even if it's from the States, I'll definitely pick up one from the States. If they don't ship to Australia, I'm pretty sure there's someone in the States that will ship it to me. But yeah, because this Funko community is absolutely amazing. We all support each other. So the second one I got was the Hardy Boy two pack. And the first pop I got from Pop Myth Line is the Kraken. Now I did see that Chucky Small Pops got a hard stack for this. I don't know how he got that. I'm probably gonna ask him about that because I think that this pop des definitely deserves a hard stack. So there you have it guys. That was another volume or episode of Chasing the Pops. Make sure you head down in my description. You'll see the other YouTubers that are in our little Aussie pop star YouTube, Aussie pop star superstars. But yeah, YouTube group. Make sure you go down there, hit the likes, hit their subs, hit their subs. Go to their channel, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you let them know the pop chasers sent you. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.